niggas know I go by problem right. Paper plane and solo, that's a private flight. Yeah, I pedaled in the Alright, what's up guys? I thought I'd do a little SketchUp tutorial. Kind of give y'all some um, simple tools and um, I guess direction on how to do a simple box design in SketchUp. Um, it's not too difficult. But there are some sort of tools that you kind of need to um, need to use. I mean, they are simple, but um, it's just uh, you might not um, understand them or anything like that, or know how to use them properly. So I mean, it's pretty straightforward once you actually figure it out. Um, line tool, you can see you click and drag, draws lines. Um, erase tool, erases. Um, rectangle tool or square tool, you can actually um, type say in the bottom right dimensions 20 comma 20 and I'll do a 20 by 20 um, circle the circles um, you can say you want a 14 inch circle do 7 radius 14 inches diameter um, I'm using woodworking in inches by the way curve tool draws curves stuff so you want to do for like um, maybe round overs on certain things measuring tape is a measuring tape Paint buckets, paint bucket, push pull is exactly what it sounds like. You can either pull something or you can push it. See, like that, you can pull that face, pull this face, drop that face, do stuff like that. Um, move tool, move stuff, um, rotate tool, rotates. So let's get our circle back or our square. Let's say you want to rotate the top face, it's going to kind of twist it, but you can kind of see you can do that or highlight the entirety of it and rotate it like that. So this is orbit. You drag and you can see it orbits and um, the hand is for, you can kind of move it around. And then this zoom extents. Say you're zoomed in too far, click it. It pops your model to fit the screen. Say you're really far away click it and it does the same thing so let's get um let's get started with uh this little simple uh 15 inch box um i just wanted to go over those few things so y'all would kind of um understand what was going on so um i've got my th my um dimensions down here it's going to be 35 width so i'm going to pull along the green axis you can see the line turns green do 35 enter you can see it's matching up with the blue axis right here, which is actually going either straight up or straight down. I want it to turn red, um, which means it's matching up with the red axis. And then hit enter there, pull it where it's green, hit 35, and then close the box off, or the rectangle. So now we know our wood is um, 3 quarters of an inch on the bottom. It's going to be 3 quarters of an inch on the top. Um, so we do 0.75, or at least this is how I do it, and then I'm going to actually draw with the measuring tape the inside of my box. So I'm going to do 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0.75, 0 0.75, 0 0.75, let's draw that. Okay, now I guess I'll delete these. And then we're going to do our port, which is going to be right here, so we're going to want 3.5, and then a 0.75, and then a 3.5. I already measured out my port. Um, all I need is this straight piece right here, full length. So I'm going to draw that out, delete this. Let me make sure this is all the way to the side. Delete that. And now you can see we have a basic, simple layout of a ported box. So um, one of the things you can do now while, it, while it's still down, I took some notes to kind of make this video a little shorter. Um, if I do a 2.125 inch wide, um, which comes out to a 3 inch 45, um, it, um, it'll actually maintain that port width all the way across. You can see two right here. It's about 3.5, which is what I want. Um, so it maintains 3.5 all the way through. That 45 isn't necessary, but kind of, I mean, it's it's more of an aesthetic thing, and it kind of strengthens the corner of the box. So I'm going to do another one in this corner. Let's get this out of the way. I'm not going to do them in the other corners just because I don't feel like sitting here and drawing. 
a bunch of 45 so let's go ahead and pull this up like I said it's gonna have another essentially your baffle up top so my total height is 15 I've already got my 0.75 and then I'm gonna have my baffle so I need to take 1.5 inches off so I'm actually gonna pull this 13 0.5 and then what I'm gonna do there's an easier way to do this but um this is the kind of easiest way to process is you separate this back face off pull it up 0.25 then separate the front face of the back make it all one piece with no obstructing lines and then actually pull that all the way forward so this is actually going to be our baffle up top so let's delete all these little lines now let's take our tape measure so we know if we get our center point you can either say do this and it'll snap to your midpoint see the little the little lines the red square red square and then turns to a blue circle that means it's your midpoint um, you can either do that or um, sometimes you can get it to work if you hold control put it on the midpoint hold control you'll see it doesn't want me to snap off of half do that let go go to this midpoint control actually I need it to be red do that. see this kind of finicky yeah it's it's a lot easier just to pull midpoint pull midpoint and then seven because it's a four, it's 14 inch cutout on a 15 so there's that and then we're gonna use the push pull we know our wood is three quarters of an inch so we're gonna push down and then do while holding 0.75 enter and you'll see it'll disappear that now we're gonna pull our 45s up 13.5 13.5. The reason I didn't do that ahead of time, sometimes when you do stuff like that, it obstructs the the pull of the baffle. When I pulled the baffle across, sometimes it limits that, so that's why I did it later. But um, as you can see, this is pretty much the gist of um, what you're going to get with your box. I'm going to put some textures on it and kind of um, make it look a little more like something. I'm not going to do any roundovers because in reality that's not necessary in a SketchUp. You're just trying to get a general overview of what you're looking at. So, um, let me at least do some, um, just quick aesthetic. Basically put some textures on it, so all I'm going to do. Nothing too crazy. Like that. Erase. In the, um, let me actually show you all that real quick. One thing, say, um, say you want to know how big your box is. You can actually draw that line there where the port stops and then see how this this bottom piece is one nice piece you don't have to worry about the 45 because it actually cuts away from the face it'll automatically take itself out click this bottom face entity info and you can see it's 538.867 inches so let's pull our cal uh, calculator up let's do um, 538.887 times we know it's 13.5 inches tall now we're gonna divide by a cubic foot which is 1728 inches hit enter so we have 4.21 cubic feet before subwoofer displacement um, and then once that goes in we'll have about four cubes which is I mean it's that's a pretty good size for a 15 so um, that's kind of cool to know that it gives you an exact rather than some kind of theoretical, I wouldn't say theoretical, but formula-based um, calculation in a calculator, which sometimes are off by a certain margin. Generally, not enough to matter, but still, um, it's better to not have the margin than to have it. So let's point, uh, do our port red. Let's go down to carpet or up to carpet this is these are all factory textures I did not add any of these in so you can kinda of see you can do your little um, generic speaker carpet look boom 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 then let's go to our wood 
This one kind of looks like MDF, so it's what I use for MDF. It's actually like a cork, board cork something, I think. Um, so, okay, now we have, once we do that, okay, now we have um, basically our, our box. So, I mean, this gives you a pretty good rep representation of what you're getting. Um, kind of see how it looks. Um, you, if you want, you can go into view, do shadows, view edge style, take the edges off. So now you can see it's more of a, um, you don't have the black lines telling your eye to see something. You kind of figure it out for itself. Kind of gives you, I guess, a more realistic look. Um, and then another thing, take the axes off. Highlight the whole thing, and then I'm going to basically just rotate it towards the sun, like that. Oops. Did I not select something? Yeah, I think I didn't select the whole thing. Okay. So now you can see, got a nice little visual representation. You can kind of see the port can't really see any of the lines due to the shadowing but um gives you a nice little look on the box and um i think that's about gonna wrap it up um hopefully y'all enjoyed this hopefully y'all got something out of it um some of these tools over here you can do some cool stuff with like i said but um it's uh, uh they're not really needed um, unless you want to do some more extensive stuff, but what I showed will get you over your, you can do your wall designs with it, your simple 112, 18, 212s, 48s, whatever, you can do it all with this, these simple tools I showed you. Um, so, uh, yeah, hopefully y'all enjoyed this, and uh, stay tuned uh, for my build videos and stuff uh, coming uh, probably later this year, so thanks guys.